show you how to make one gallon of good Kool-Aid. And what you need to get started, you need a pitcher. I label it one half gallon because this is the measurement I'm going to put the sugar in because some people put too much sugar in it or too much water. It don't be right. It don't mix right. You got to have the Kool-Aid right. You have to have it right. I have a spoon. Get you a big spoon. Sugar. And these are the flavors I'm using. I mix any flavor and it tastes good. So, so this is my flavors right here. I'm using today. Great. I'm using Tropical Punch. And a new one that they just came out with for 2012 is called Peach Mango. Now I'm about to mix all these together. I'm about to really show y'all how to make Kool-Aid. Or in my language, Kool-Aid. Kool Watch this. Watch Magic Hat. Told you need a pitcher, right? I label it. Half a gallon of sugar. Make sure you don't go overboard. I gotta put a little tape on it to measure it because you cannot see it in the camera of the measurements. So here we go. Almost not close enough. Okay. See? Later. Right. Now, I'm about to unwrap the three packs of Kool Aid and make it happen. Oh, I call Kool-Aid Lay. I'm going to show you how to make it. Not too much water, too much sugar. It's going to be just right. I promise you, follow these. If you follow these instructions, it will not steal you wrong. you have perfect Kool-Aid all the time. Try mango first. Mango. Yeah. Make sure I get the residue out of it. You know, for you want to get all the Kool-Aid out of it. Pour it now. Right now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try the one that was in the refrigerator. Yes, this is cold. Quiet as kept. You're supposed to use hot water to, to crumble all the sugar at the bottom. But if you follow my instructions, it'd be hot or cold freezer cold, that sugar will break. Check this out. Shuffle down a little bit more. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh yeah, you can see it. I can see it. That's what I'm about to do get the corn. Now, I'm about to pour. Ready? Look at it. It's formulated. Oh man, that smells wonderful. Okay, I am stirring right now. Stirring it right very well. Stirring. Now the catch thing about this is gonna be. Let me see. Make sure I'm right. You're gonna feel sugar at the bottom. But this is what I do. I just pour the gallon. Now, one thing you have to do is take it, reverse back. You have to stir for like three to four minutes of it. So just keep stirring it back and forth. Rotate ten times to the right and come back to the left. On my right and my left. Whichever one you want to do with side, no matter. As long as you go left to right. I almost got the sugar out of it. I hear it. Sounds. Oh yeah, it's, it's gone. It's almost gone. Yeah, I'm excited. And I'm going to let y'all check out my kids doing a taste test on it. OMG. Oh, my goodness. It smells good. Yep, keep stirring it. Stirring it. I'm stirring it. I'm stirring it. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. That's Kool-Aid Lay. That's how you make Kool-Aid Lay. Look at that. That quick. One, two, three step, less than five minutes. Look what I made. Come taste the Kool-Aid. 
See? Thank. Come right here and taste it. Taste it. <laughs> that good Kool Aid like fix your do right. Guess the do right wrong. Tell brother I come taste Kool Aid like. Put your, they're going to Kool Aid right there. Give it a test. There you have it. Show y'all how we make Kool-Aid Lane when son run back upstairs because Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 online is waiting on him. All right, it's Elihu, a.k.a. Coach, signing out on this tutorial with how to make Kool-Aid or in my slang, we have a video out for it. It's called Kool-Aid Lane. We on our Kool-Aid Lane. Swagger, swagger. 2012, coming to you soon. God bless.